G'day! Today on the table I've got a S20 Ultra and this one is a previous repaired phone and what I'm going to be doing is opening it up and checking out the charger daughter board in comparison to the original one. What this has received is the moisture damage icon or the complaint where it complains that there's moisture in the charger port and the phone refuses to charge from there. It has been since repaired at another phone repair shop, but the customer is reporting that they've noticed that they have a very poor signal going on. So, looking at the original one, there is not an actual connector for the antenna. We do have these small little razors that look to make contact on various metal points. What I'm expecting to see is the one that's in the phone now is for a slightly different revision of this phone and is missing the small little copper pins which I maybe I'd use a solder station a hot air station to swap them over but I need to get in there to have a look first so this is roughly what you'll need to do to do a charging port replacement on one of these first of all we want to get in there I'm going to use my fin metal pry tool and some isopropyl alcohol to soften the adhesive so this should come off very easily I would expect depending if the gasket had been replaced. So far, so good. There we go. Now we'll just twist that slightly. There we go. And the gasket has been preserved for a second time. And what we're focusing on down from here is we need to take off this bottom section here. Zoom in a bit more. They're all probably going to be even length Phillips head screws. I'm going to take the shield, this NFC, off. We will need to take this shield off, one screw. Two screw, three, and four. The reason why we're taking the shield off here will be to have a look and see if the well, see if we can disconnect the battery, which is pretty important. And one more screw hidden under here. There we go. We have the battery connector right here. Now we'll see if there's much movement on these other cables. No, not feeling really any movement. That one did come off a bit easy, so I'm not sure what this one is for. But now we'll go to the main event that I want to look at here. One thing to note is all these screws should be the same length. Previous Samsung's dictate they will be. There we go. And we're in. I'll take that off. That off. And we have three screws going in there. Once I take this out, I'll just put them side by side and we will do a little comparison. I should just be able to flick that up and out like so. And from there I can remove the phone off the heat. Actually I'm going to put the back cover back on the heat. And looking here, compared to here, what do we see that's different? Now, the revision of it's meant to be the same. First thing I'm noting, these two here look different to these two. The height of them, from my angle, is different. So I'd say these two aren't making contact with 
if I get it in the frame, here. They, there and there are two different size pins. I might have to bend these up. I'd rather try and bend them than a hot air station off. But also looking down here, one, two, three, four, five. This is occupied over here. Now, I'm not sure what the difference between these two ICs are, but I'd say that's definitely going to make a difference. So I'll just get one of my portable lights and shine that there. Yep, and to get that on the right angle for you guys. So I'm looking here compared to here. And also if you have a look along here, we're different again. I can see copper here. Or I can see oh no, it's mostly okay. Seeing copper there and no copper here. More copper. So not everything has been swapped over on these two. Which makes me believe that this is a slightly inferior model here. Also looking at the solder differences between here and here. So this one has been replaced before. Weirdly the build date on it says it's exactly the same. But I'm leaning towards it's probably a high class copy. Another thing I'm looking at as well. Here, missing, uh, missing, missing. Installed, installed. So I'd say that this one is missing quite a few different capacitors on it in comparison. So I'll start with bending these two up, see if they'll make a difference. But I think I'll be purchasing another one of these on behalf of the customer that does contain everything that they require. So because the, right now their current issue is signal strength. Could also attempt a Type-C replacement, but being I'm not sure where the moisture indicator is actually located on here, it's something I'm not really willing to do. So I'll give the camera a second to figure itself out again. And what I want to do here is try and bend this up. It's not pretty, the bending, but what I want to do is make sure it does make contact. Where are we? We'll be making contact around here, I believe. I'll loosely connect it over the top. So how would we typically go? Like such. And these two pins are meant to be making contact right here. Uh, sadly, that's only the loudspeaker. By the looks of it. Oh, I was only looking at half the picture as well. Flipping it over, what else do we get? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Different IC here and here. So the pin layout does look to be fairly similar. So this one here is the original. Now I do want to have a look under this cover as well. Just to see. No, we are the same. Okay, I'm going to put that back away. I don't think there's too much I'm going to be able to do to this one to improve it. So what I'm going to do is simply put this back together. So do note, probably the biggest takeaway from this video is there is different quality charging daughter boards. So you do have to be careful on much what you get. I'm just going to bend these connectors up just a little higher. 
So they are definitely making contact when I put it back in. So some of these aren't that high. If they're not making full contact on the, on the board, on the phone, on the body, then they're not going to have good, good signal strength. But I will put, probably put that down to the missing capacitors, more so than a fault of this. There we go. So put it in the charging hole first, in the bottom of the phone, then push down. There we go, we're in. Now, I believe I just destroyed this over here. That is falling off. Well, that's handy. Very handy indeed. Now, was that I or was that already existing? Not too sure, but I'll bust out the soldering iron and fix that up. I've just got my soldering at 350 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to touch up here. Oh. Now, a pair of tweezers should hopefully be able to reattach this. Actually, I'll put some soldering on solder on the bottom of that connector. If I can get some on my... There we go. There we go. Give it a second cool. Very good. on put the three screws back in the bottom here typically I would recommend to solder out of the phone just to reduce any chance of actually damaging it or accidentally hitting the battery which was definitely a possibility right there there we go connect up connect all correct way around even as it mentioned on the connector sub main now another thing with this moisture indicator has gone off okay time to put these screws back in and seal it all back up again once more Hopefully just bending those pins out will fix it. As I said, I'm doubtful. I will be looking for a new charging port to go in this phone. And it will be making sure that it's the actual fully correct one. Even at a glance, I would understand the mistake that a shop has made. Not getting the complete right one. Granted, that does look like everything's there. But you get some cheaper phones where they leave off stuff that looks like it relates to quick charging off the actual daughterboard. I've had that 
a few times in the past. So, yeah, very common, common mistake. Except connect up the battery. Put on shielding. Everybody wants to go. There we go. Connect up NFC. Put the screws in. And we're nearly there. So anyway, I don't really have a complete solution in this video. Sorry about that. But I hope this gives you an idea on what to look for if you've potentially got bad signal on your S20 Plus after replacing your charger port. I'd be pretty confident that if you swapped it back to the original, you probably, with a fully charged phone of course, you probably actually have signal once more. Granted, the customer was saying they never noticed it in town, but as soon as they left the town, their coverage went to extremely poor when traveling over from Adelaide. So we'll stick this down here, down here. And the back cover back on. One thing with the S20 Ultra is that camera bump is massive. I hope this helps you and I'll see you guys later. Bye.